first of all, congratulations, Mr. Krabs. Hello! I like money! What inspired you to build a second Krusty Krab right next door to the original? Money! Sony, Sony, Sony. Your greed has shown no pounds. And if you haven't tell already, I'm already pissed. And for those of you who don't know what Shantae Half Genie Hero is, it's a platform game literally inspired by Metroid Media platformers, and that's all you need to know, developed by WayForward. And a and there is two different editions, the standard edition that has DLCs and the ultimate edition which is completely updated version of the original standard version of Half Genie Hero. And why the hell am I pissed off about about this situation? Well, if you if you're familiar with PlayStation Store, right? If you bought if you planning to buy games on the PlayStation Store and once you or once you bought the games digitally, it will tell you that if it says purchase, that show that shows the consumer that you already bought the game, right? But for some fucking reason, Sony decided to basically remove the the sign that says purchase and just basically, hey, I want you to spend more money. What? What the fuck? And I was like, what the hell? I already bought the game three years ago, and that was back in 2018. Oh, you thought I don't have any proof. Well, if that's the case, then why the hell do I have an achievement that that is dated 2018? For those of you who don't know what trophy hunting is, trophy hunting is basically a type of type of things that gamers like. Well, some gamers do like trophy hunting. Mostly PlayStation, same could be said for Xbox games, something like that, even Steam, I don't know. But why should I pay a game that I already paid and three years ago, and it's not just the game that I already bought, it's the game that I already played three years ago. So I should be at least be able to keep the game right, but no, Sony decided to say hey. Give me all of your fucking money. Give me your fucking money! Yeah, that's my thoughts about this whole situation. It's either Sony either forgot that I already paid the game three years ago, or they're just fully aware of that and just want more money. But what are your thoughts about this? Do you think Sony was being anti-consumer, or they just nearly forgot that I already paid the game? And that's coming from someone who bought 500 games digitally. But yeah, that's all I had to say. Goodbye. We've got to have money.